Hi, my name is Luca Tod. I'm an animation director from Hungary and I made a short film called Mr. Mare, which is a voyeuristic uh, love film of a very tiny man and a very big man. That's it, watch it. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the 33rd Teddy Award. My name is Jean Borbobák, and we're gonna discuss the movie Lidertsur with director Luca Tóth. Hi, welcome to the festival and welcome to the Teddy. Um, so this short animation film, Lidertsur, um, it starts off with an interesting figure and the nipple gets some emphasis on that. Can you mm. tell us a bit about this figure and how the nipple came to such a prominent spot okay. in the film. So it's actually not his nipple, but it's okay. on his side, a little like tumor like lump. Uh -huh. And I was thinking of uh, like a pair of characters who one of them would be this tumor who borns out of this mm -hmm. other person, a very small, yeah. tiny yeah. guy. And uh, I was when I thought of this this, uh, these characters, I was thinking, like, what, why am I so interested in this pair? Yeah. And I realized that I really, this is how I think of like one-sided love, when you, you okay. have this idea that you belong to someone, yeah. even like you are part of his body, yeah. but you kind of, you feel like a small tumor, really. Yeah. But it still seems like that, you know, like they born out of each other somehow. So this yeah. relationship is quite uh, intriguing in the film, um, especially that there is some sort of um, scare between them. There is a lot of curiosity. Yeah. So can you talk a bit about this relationship between these two figures? Yeah, so, so basically the little guy who, who is, was the tumor at the yeah. beginning, he's voyeuristically loves this main yeah. huge guy and he's kind of also taking care of him and and and, uh, and take yeah like looks out for him and somehow his love uh, kind of makes this bigger guy uh, more um, more and more comfortable in his skin but um, but it always stays that way it always stays one-sided mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's, I, I was so interested in, in that uh, little guy's emotional development throughout the movie that he's basically defining himself throughout this uh, mm. story from zero to yeah. like a fully grown character. Yeah, right. Um, so the whole film has this feverish feel to it. It's like a very feverish ride and uh, even the colors kind of come to emphasize that. Mm -hmm. So how did you decide on, on these colors? It's very yellowish, brownish at some points, bluish, yeah. greenish, they meet, they kind of clash as well. Yeah, I, what I really wanted to make you feel that kind of love uh, comes like an illness. Like it's uh -huh. like, yeah. it's, you are like breathing it and you are, it, it's uh, it's even like musty or or, mm, yeah, or dumb. Well, not like dumb, well, yeah, I don't know that. Yeah. But, but it's like uh, you. I really wanted you to feel this sort of like closed, claustrophobic yeah. feeling that they are only spending time in this flat, and that flat is like like a, like an illness, like yeah. a place of an illness. And it's really confining. It's yeah. very like, yeah, absolutely. Um, also, the how the characters are drawn 
Um, the lines are very fluid. Yeah. They really seem to like merge into each other and there is like a very nice dynamic within mm -hmm. how the characters are drawn. Can you talk a bit about your approach, how mm -hmm. you visually constructed these characters? Well, for one thing, I, I try to draw uh, characters that is uh, a pleasure to animate. Yeah. So I like to give them uh, you know, voluptuous yeah. bodies that is like really nice to yeah. animate, but at the same time, it's um, it's important to me to draw characters that are like not that much of a heteronormative uh, mm. uh, beauty standard type of uh, yeah. figures because uh, I find it very very boring to to watch films and only like model like. People yeah, have these standardized yeah, yeah, yeah. bodies. Yeah, so right. I do all sorts of body types and type of people. Yeah, absolutely. It comes through very nicely that there is this challenging to these, I don't know, yeah, these traditional beauty standards <laughs> in the film, which was which was very interesting. And then of course there is a there is a queer desire going on there is like a gay desire yeah. sneaking into this whole thing not just between these two characters but then we see um, this bigger character um, encountering yeah. all sorts of people can you talk a bit about this erotic <laughs> tension that, <laughs> but, but for one thing I, I really want it to be it to be a love story so the the love is between that little guy and yeah. the and the main guy and there is one scene where the main guy is uh, dancing with another yeah. handsome man, yeah. but that's not uh, obvious by the editing that if it's a <laughs> fantasy of the little guy yeah. or if it's a real action. Yeah. And at that point of the film, I didn't want the audience to to know which one it is. Yeah. So it's your choice yeah. to decide yeah, if it, he wants Indeed, to. because it, it seemed a bit like as if that little guy um, who is very one-sidedly um, admiring this other one is sort of like projecting an image out there that oh yeah this could be us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I exactly. I I made that extra character who the guy was dancing yeah. in, uh, like a, a better version of the little yeah. guy, like a bold, handsome yeah. man yeah. dancing with this guy. So he kind of projects this sort of like. If I would be just as big as you, yeah. it would be maybe me. It could be, it could be us. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Let's talk a bit about the sound, which I think was was also very interesting. It 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 uses some very realistic elements, some as if like almost like recorded um, sounds and noises, mm -hmm. and then it also gives a lot of texture and the new dimension to the whole story. So how did you go about the sound? Yeah, so I have a sound designer called Peter Benjamin Lukács, who is mm. amazing. Mm. And, uh, and he's like super creative with the sound. And we also went to a Foley artist who, yeah. who basically liked, we, we went through every step by step, each, every little detail of the film. And we were thinking of abstract sounds and realistic mm. sounds, and we were trying all sorts of things to clash together. What I like about uh, the sound designer Peter's work is that he really knows how to build up a realistic uh, atmosphere, and then at one point just like pulls you down yeah. in, in like the deep water of like surrealistic uh, yeah. sound, and that really he really knows which part of the visual these things yeah. need to happen. Yeah, I would also like to ask because that was particularly interesting to me that this year we have two short animations in the program by Hungarian animation artists. Um, can you say a few words about the whole animation art scene in, in Hungary? In Hungary? Yeah. That's a big topic. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, I think the art scene is, for one thing, the Hungarian animation is getting to be a little of a, brand, a bit of a brand these mm, days yeah. because uh, from MoMA, the school, the university, there are many artistic, authoristic films coming out and they uh, represent the university um, festivals. So there is this uh, urge or this need to prove, yeah. prove uh, 
themselves in this artistic field. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think that's that's why yeah. there is so many of films right. like that yeah. these days. Um, I was also wondering because these two animation films, uh, they both touch upon queer themes. Um, and how do you see this relation of animation and queerness? Because in a way, just in general, um, somehow certain aspects of animation resonate very well with um, ideals and ideas of, of, of queerness and, and queer politics? Oh, I don't know. Maybe, may, I, I'm just guessing, yeah. because I'm, I'm only like doing my stuff, so yeah, I right. can only yeah. have that perspective. But maybe sometimes it's easier to to touch subjects that in your environment, which is yeah. Hungary, more of a touchy subject, mm. with uh, with characters that are not real yeah, or not right. like yeah, yeah, yeah. live action yeah, let's happening, say, yeah. and uh, maybe animation can be braver that way mm. or yeah. more experimental that way. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not sure. No, I'm absolutely. I think that's very valid. <laughs> yeah. Well, Lutza, thank you so much for being here with us. Um, I wish you all the best for the, for the festival. Enjoy it. And hopefully we see each other very soon again. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you.